Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Glenis Enriquez again from Panama. Oh, we're in December 19, Sunday morning, 1993. Look, oh, I highlighted this one. I don't know why. Let's see. I wrote this one. Honey, you asked me for a Christmas list while you were in the shower and I started to cry. I do have a list, but the list is empty. The list to Santa Claus this year is really a thank you note for his gifts of last year. This year is not so good for us. So all I'm asking Santa for is the love of my husband and his understanding and his kisses and huggies and his faithfulness. Thank you, honey, for asking what I want for Christmas. This year, please wrap me with your love and tenderness. And seal your love with a lot of kisses. And that will make me very happy. Love, your happily married wife, <laughs> Glennis, with a happy face. I told you I did these happy faces. That's like my thing, you know? I started emojis before they were popular. All right, next slice of love is January 15, 1994. Dearest darling, loving husband of mine, just a note to let you know that I am extremely happily married. Remember, repeat, repeat, repeat. You need to repeat that you love these folks. Okay, yes, hon, I am. You know, honey, I am also very relaxed inside. I feel such an inner peace, such tranquility. I really can't explain it. At one point in our relationship, perhaps at the beginning, I was full of anxiety, uncertainty, and a little fear. I was a bit nervous of what or where I stood with you. And now, on the other hand, I feel much more at peace with our relationship. I feel a part of you, honey, sweetheart. You are my one and only beautiful husband. Hey, I can't wait for Valentine's Day when I will again remind you of my love, your wifey, Glennis. No happy face on that one, right? Only hearts, two hearts. You gotta mix it up a little, right? <laughs> okay, ha. June 8, 1994, he writes here. He writes, again, this is earmarked for a reason. Let's see what that is. He writes, I knew when I decided to marry you that this was going to last. No, that this was my last chance, <laughs> that it would be more and more difficult to find the type of woman I was looking for as a wife. Actually, the type that I had been looking for all my life. I was never afraid to, to reach out in the business world as well as in my personal life. It paid off somewhere that in my business career, but never ever uh, close to my choosing you as my wife and my life partner. I love you with, with tenderness and a deep feeling of affection, which has grown deeper and deeper as our life uh, unravels, right? I think that I found in you was my precious princess. I am better equipped today to value what you are and I am ex and my experiences sh um, should you represent the type of woman I had looked for in my life. Excuse me, I can't read hieroglyphics from time to time, you know. Okay. Um, I am certain and I am certain and perfect but really someone who would be willing to give and, and receive someone that I would consider a friend, a lover, a wife and also um, someone who would love me and not because of whatever material things I had but really because I was a human being 
I was looking for someone that I could respect because the, the, the world, because that would respect, and that would respect me as well. I was looking for a partner in all the senses of the word. I wanted someone that had someone who would appreciate uh, sweet and the sacrifices. Everyone, every day you have shown me that you are that person and I've made the correct choice. Oh my goodness. I am finally the, the happiest man alive. I love you for trying so hard to please me and for making me happy. I love you for being so understanding and for making me absolutely happy forever. Oh my goodness. And then I wrote back, honey, I love your words. God bless our love and our marriage. So that was a deep one for him, okay? So I want to give you more slices of love this way. Please subscribe and do likes, like the little thingy that goes like this, and, uh, and, and share your love stories with all of us. Let me know what your life has been like, all right? And I'll see you next week in another Slice of Life 29 Years in the Middle.